scrap. So let us jump to the, our framework. So first I'll create the future file. So here I'm specifying the future file name as uh, mobile testing dot future. That's it. Then I'll click on finish button. So in this, just I'll open this future file. Then what I'll do is here I'm just writing the future keyword. Then here I'm specifying the adding of two numbers. So that this is my future. Then later I specify the scenario. Just I'll copy the description for the scenario as well. So just a simple future we are test, we are adding the one scenario. So what I'll do is after scenario. So just I'll specify the given keyword. Then I'll say first user adds. two numbers so, so this is our first step then next step we have is so before user adds two numbers i'll say user opens calculator app then user adds two numbers. Then I say with the then keyword I will say user validates addition of two numbers as so this um expected result I'm parameterizing. So in our case, so addition of two numbers should be 10. That's what I'm parameterizing here with the double quotes. Then in the next step, and then with the keyword, then I'm specifying. So user closes calculator app. So this is about the my scenarios that I'm going to automate it now. User closed calculator app. So that's it. So here I'm representing this particular future file with the at the rate tag that is mobile testing so simply i will select all and just i'll format it and i'll save it so that's it so first we are done with the first step creating the future file and thus we have added one scenario so let me copy this particular tag and i'll go to the test runner package simply i'll open it so here you need to specify the tag name we, which we have represented the future file so simply i have specified here so that's it so first step we are done with the first step so we have to generate the step definition structure so just you can say dry run is equal to true so this will generate you the structure of the step definition file so if I run this particular testng.xml file, so simply it will gives me the structure of the step definition file for this particular scenario. If you go to the console, so it is giving me the all the structure of the each of the step definitions for each of the steps sorry so just copy that let us quickly create the step definition class for under the com dot test automation dot step def package here i'm specifying the class name as mobile testing step def so that's it just click on finish button. So 
so that's it guys so once it is done so just import the related packages so to so every error will be gone so just import the related packages so we should not be seeing any errors in few seconds so simply let me delete all the all the stuff which is not required here that's it guys so we are first we are done with the first creating the feature file then generating the step definition structure 